Recovering from a divorce feels like a whirlwind journey. I found that through the process, divorce is in a place where we arrive. It's entering a new chapter of life with many nuances and no one size fits all handbook. One moment you're relieved, feeling like you've conquered something significant. Then suddenly waves of emotions hit you all over again. It's a side of divorce that isn't often discussed, especially when there are kids involved. You strive to be a role model, teaching them resilience and self-care. You try different things to soothe and release emotional buildup with exercise, journaling your thoughts, meditation, and seeking therapy to cope with the breakup and the dreams you had for the future. It may sound cliche, but time truly does have a way of soothing pain. Someday, I believe I'll be able to look back on this time with nothing but warmth and gratitude for the beautiful children brought into my life and the stronger version of myself that emerged from the experience. For anyone who is going through this, I would love to hear your experience, share your story because there's power in dialogue. As women, we take our power back by sharing our stories and bringing any deep shame we hold from this experience into the light. I love you guys. Tia. You know, typically I don't really talk about any sort of celebrity relationship, marital gossip, you know, on my main channel, our kind of entertainment, you know, if it's like public news about one of the cast members uh, getting engaged or having a kid or getting married, then yeah, that's cool. But in terms of, you know, like other celebrities, you know, divorces and whatnot, I, I kind of steer clear, but um, I have been, well, unwillingly following the Tia Maori, Corey Hardrick stuff for the past year since the divorce because it's kind of uh, in your face. And when I say in your face, mainly from Tia's perspective, um, not Corey's. So she posted this, um, I, I, I guess, like confessional or testimony about one year after divorce and how it's impacting her and Honestly, I felt nothing but cringe. In my opinion, it was nothing but cringe because I don't feel bad for her. Now, here's the thing. Tia, I've been a fan since, of course, Sister Sister. And, oh, who else could play Melanie Barnett like her? I don't know who else. And uh, what was that show she was on Netflix? I forgot. I only watched the first, like, two seasons. Um, The one where she was in there with Loretta Devine. I forgot. But -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do, Netflix original. It was a family show or something. But... The, over the past year, I've just really noticed she's she's just used every opportunity to talk about how divorce was amazing for her and she graduated from marriage. I know from that first interview she did on some talk show or whatever, I just felt like are, are women, well, most are fortunate. Now, I don't want to say all because I'm not lumping all women into the same category, but are there really women who believe in this, like graduate from marriage? Because, you know, there are root. I just want to say rumors, rumors that um, her and Corey are trying to work things out behind the scenes. But I don't know. So I'm not going to sit up here and say there's anything confirmed. But why would you graduate from marriage via divorce and try to go back if that is the case? Uh, are you signing up for more classes or something? Because I know for me, I probably wouldn't take her back since... It just seems like she's taken a lot of cheap shots at him over the past year while he said nothing but mind his own business. And kind of like with Monique's, mo um, what I like to call the Netflix boycott tour from a few years ago, she would go around to all these different radio in, uh, radio stations and talk shows and podcasts and, you know, do her own thing on her own channel and talk about it. And I'm like, you have all these major platforms you're going on. And instead of promoting a new comedy special that you'll do for yourself or with another company outside of Netflix, you just sit up there and complain the whole time. And I mean, you're just wasting so much energy that could have been used to something more productive. And with Tia, I mean, I don't know if she has any sort of, you know, um, movies or shows she's working on. If I'm not mistaken, I think she has like a cooking channel on YouTube or something like that. But Anytime she is trending or anything she posts, it has to do with being single or, oh, I'm so happy to be on my own. But then the very next post will be complaining about, oh, there are no good men out there. And, you know, men don't court and whatnot like they used to basically referring to herself as the prize when it's like what man of quality 
would want to be with you considering how they see the way you um, dog your ex-husband online. And I mean, the thirst traps are endless and it's like, would you want to be with a woman who kind of carries herself that way? And the thing is, she's not a victim because look, here's the thing. As the general public, we don't know exactly why they got a divorce. But as far as we can tell, it doesn't seem like Corey was cheating or abusive or anything like that. So she just decided to file for a divorce. So you're not a victim. You just, you're a victim of your own decisions, but I don't really feel bad because you left. And I don't know if it's because people were gassing her up, you know, maybe other female friends like, oh girl, you can do better than him. And, you know, look at all the traction you're getting online with your posts. I'm sure there are, you know, so many men ready to break down the door to be with you. But then she went out in the world to see the grass isn't as green as she thought it'd be on the other side. So now... You know, um, she might be trying to come back. I don't know, because I remember one time somebody on Twitter responded to her uh, tweet saying something to the effect of you need to stop playing around and go back to, to your man. And she says something to the effect of there's no point in going back to something that doesn't serve me anymore. Basically, like, you know, the whole thing about graduating from Corey. So it's like there's no need for me going back. So now she looks bad if she is planning to go back because. You spent the whole year talking about how great life is and self-care. That's the reason you chose yourself over anything else, which is selfish when you think about it, especially when you have kids in the mix. So, I mean, had she had been more low key about it and like, yeah, the announcement of the divorce would have made headlines. But the fact that you used every opportunity you could to celebrate being single. But then as time went on, the the um, excitement in your tone went down. Because you've been beaten up by the reality of the fact that, oh, it ain't so sweet out here in the streets like you thought. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how things unfold. And by that, I mean, it's going to be in your face whether you want to know about it or not. So let me know your thoughts. And it doesn't really help that the comment section on her post just are women gassing her up again like, oh, thanks for sharing your story. And this is so inspiring. No, it's not. She made a she made a selfish, stupid choice. And she says she graduated from marriage, but it was a degree in stupidity rather than self-care as far as I'm concerned. But if you've been following the story, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.